06 Pontiac Solstice clutch installation. Definitely get a new slave cylinder. Absolutely. And uh, you're gonna have to know how to bleed it properly. There is no bleeder hole for this. So, if you see that little spout, there's two spouts. The one that's, you know, dead. Well, that's the factory bleed down. I don't know. General Motors. But if you take this and you put it in brand new fresh brake fluid, not to mention they both seem to be yellow containers, different story, but then you have to apply pressure. You will feel it getting tighter and tighter as you go along. Now, simple physics says air goes up. It's good to let a, a little bit of atmospheric pressure get in that hole. And then you turn it over and you switch positions. Make sure it's submerged. Switch positions of how you try to get brake fluid into this slave which has no bleeder. You will feel it get much, much tighter. There is a spring in there, so it will have spring pressure, but you will feel it get harder and harder to push. And then you have a cap, such as, and when you take it out, I suggest letting it sit in there you're gonna get air bubbles. I just let it let it sit where it of this air comes in and let it sit. Pump it a few more times. Put a cap on it before you install the hose, so you don't make a mess and get more air in it. Reinstall it in the transmission. Yeah. If you ever done this, you'll know about that line. If not, I'll show you later. And then, after you install the line, you have to bleed the line, which is a next step in this procedure.